What's up, everybody? My name is Nina, and I'm here with Brandon Rubel. What's going on? Not much. Just cruising through the media day, honestly. Just yeah. It's cruising. Yeah, just cruising, <laughs> just vibing, honestly. Just here. Um, what, what time did you get here? Um, 11 a.m. or like 11:30. Oh, it's not that bad. Wow, what time is it? It seems like <laughs> it seems like five o'clock to me. I think honestly. it's like one. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, wait. It's one forty. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully, I'll wrap this up. I'll wrap it up. Okay. Do you ever think about uh, alien invasions? Do I think about it? Um, probably not often as I should, honestly. Um, but I feel like you know. I would get all, get along with the extraterrestrials a little bit. You feel like, I feel like it? yeah. I feel like I would. Yeah. Like what? What about you? What about me? Yeah. Just, would know, like? Do you think you would I vibe? Just, I'm, I adapt easily. You know, like yeah. just compared to the room. I was in the. I was in, talking to some dude from Denmark. I full on took on his accent. Yeah. Oh. That's what I'm saying. I'll be uh, hanging you're out. You're universal. Alien. Yeah, yeah. That's you're what I'm extraterrestrial. Yeah, I'm, I, I, Dude, like, you're a star child. Yeah, just a couple of those. All that, honestly, star boy, all that stuff. So. I feel like not only would I vibe with the aliens, but the aliens would like me too. Yeah, I mean, how could they not? <laughs> For sure. Okay, hold on. What if they were like nudists? Nudists? Yeah. I mean, like oh, they, would I adapt to that? Yeah. Are you saying? For yeah. sure. I, aren't all aliens nudists though? Because I've never seen an alien just with like some fresh khakis on and like a shirt on. You know I don't know. Saying? I've never really seen them with clothes, but I've also never seen them with parts either. Oh, uh, okay. So you're saying. Uh, I wonder if they mate via no no like go cord, run with this. Like, I want to see how you're gonna get that. Get out I'm of trying this. to think about it. Is it like a telepathic mating? Is this what goes on in your head uh, uh, all, all the time? Okay, cool. Like, um, do you think that they mate through their thoughts? Is that possible? I don't know. I've never met an alien, but I would uh, love to. But I feel like I feel like why not? Uh, I mean, you ever I, see Nope the movie? And no, I have not. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, this was like a, a really wild concept, and I never thought of it, but it was a movie about extraterrestrials, but the concept was it was an animal extraterrestrial. Have you ever thought of that? Oh, dang. Do you believe the Earth is flat? I feel like you're giving off these vibes right now. I'm giving off flat <laughs> Earth vibes? <laughs> you're giving, giving off flat Earth vibes a little bit. <laughs> I that mean, be, I have a theory or is, four. I feel like the aliens are getting it on. I feel like you they're know, mating. Yeah, for sure they're mating. Definitely. Mating is the reason why capitalism's here. It's the reason why people. It's the reason why we're trying to succeed in life. You yeah, know what I'm saying? agreed. We need to keep the human race pushing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the alien race too. The, and the alien the, race. If they got to, if they got here somehow. Yeah. You gotta think that they're trying to keep it pushing harder than us for sure, because. Probably they're trying to. Know. They're trying to assimilate like you in Denmark. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know. I don't know any American that went off and seen an alien, or I guess any human being that went off and seen an alien. Yeah. These guys are just wanting it more than us, honestly. So I wish I had that heart, the kind of alien heart, you know what I'm saying? Dude, if I had alien heart, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, uh, for sure. Damn. Okay, so what if you got stuck on an island? Like your plane crash, you're stuck on an island, you have island mates. Not everyone's making it, but it's getting down to the wire. And you're kind of like, you're starving. It's basically like a weight cut. What do like these cut. mates look like? Like a... Dude, it could be like like you're just on a plane. You're on Southwest. Like me, Spirit. me and you are on an island. I'm eating you for sure. Like I was gonna ask yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. Dude, I feel like I feel like you're in my head a <laughs> there, little there's bit. There's like there's like fruits <laughs> everywhere. I just decided to kill a person. Dude, I was literally gonna ask you: Would you choose veganism or would you eat an island mate? But you no, would, would eat an island mate. Immediately establish dominance. Eat the biggest person there. Yeah. And, you know. Dude, that's the come. only way to establish something. <laughs> you have all these other resources for survival, but you're just going to eat somebody. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. We could be a phone up. Um, have you ever We're seen... All, we could be on Hawaii. I'm eating someone. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not even, it's not even survival. Yeah. He's just going to eat. He's just, He's just ready to eat. I'm conquering. You caught me on the wrong day, honestly. This is a, I fight Saturday. I'm out to just destroy and pillage. You're hungry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Funny. For no reason at all. Okay, they've done a Are lot of studies. Are we still on this island at this point Yeah, in time? okay, no, no, well, you kind of already, I didn't even have to ask you the question, so you're just, you're just <laughs> straight up <laughs> cannibalism. Well, let's go back, past, past the island, we've moved past it. In an alien invasion, I Three feel UFC like now you would- fighters, I would eat. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> now you're gonna get me in trouble with my girlfriend. <laughs> no. All right, no, here, no, from here on out, I'm asking the questions, actually. Okay, you don't have to eat them. You just have to, they have to be on your team. 
to UFC. fight to fight aliens, but I feel like you would want to be an alien, dude. If I was fighting three, all right. No, you're fighting aliens, but you need you need a team. You need an army. Yeah. So, I'm, are there any other? I need an army. But you're giving me three people. I didn't think that. <sighs> would you pick more than three people? I would pick like a twenty thousand man army. I'm bringing the U.S. military with me. I'm, dude, I feel. I'm going to have it. We're, we're invading aliens. Are we? In, that was the question. No, right? they're invading us. They, for sure, bro. The okay. whole world's on me. Seven million. Is it seven billion? Seven, yeah. Seven, seven billion people. Seven are, billion people. We're uniting for sure. Honestly, I hope. That's a really important question right here. Is I hope aliens do invade us so we can just all bring us together. You know. There's no religion. Yeah, yeah. There's no politics. There's 100%. no right. It's just, aliens are invading. It's happening. We need to get our shit together. We need to fly like a flock of birds. You ever watch Mighty Ducks? Yeah, yeah. See, it was my favorite movie. Ducks fly together. That's ducks insane. always. Yeah. Ducks stick together always. Yeah. We I'm need knuckle to knuckle puck the out of one of these knuckle, aliens. Uh, absolutely, weapon of choice. The knuckle puck. Yeah. Which brings me to my next point: the war in Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> we need to stop sending our tax dollars to Ukraine and start investing in, in an alien invasion army force. What do you think? Um, I am indifferent on this. Um, oh, okay, it was just me. <laughs> <laughs> it was just me. I'm, I'm asking the questions around here. Can I be in charge for a second? Yeah, you can be in charge. But dominance. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right, if we had to eat one person amongst us right now. I'd have to eat you because you're going to eat all of us. There's no there's no. I would have to assert happen. dominance over you because you would eat me. Would swing on you so hard. <laughs> We could edit some of this out, right? No, I don't edit anything out. I've, I've never hit a woman. I just want to let that be very clear. No. Swing on you so hard. <laughs> no, but like when uh, hits the fan, he's going to he's gonna swing on me and I got to swing on him back. So I'm going to have to twist twist the dick or something. Something, <laughs> something crazy is going to have to happen. I'm going to have to eat you. How are you going to twist a dick when I'm head kicking you? <laughs> bah. The fight will be over real quick. I don't know, man. I mean, guess what? My stomach's in before. And then I'm gonna enjoy my vacation on Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> so, so do you have, so do you have three fighters in mind that you would want on your, <laughs> you would want on your team? I feel like I would cruise with the Diaz brothers for sure. Okay. And you know, I feel like I trust them to, they've thought this through already. You know, like yeah. who we're bringing. I feel like they thought it through. Yeah. Actually, I'm just gonna bring Bryce Mitchell and Good I know, call. I know that he's thought some of that mm-hmm. through. And another flat earther. Yeah. yeah you're, <laughs> No. Have you guys talked about your guys' opinions on that? Uh, with Bryce? Yeah. I haven't had the honor yet, but I will one day. I ha- 9-11 I feel like we- was an inside job. Absolutely. That was an easy one. <laughs> what are the controversial ones? <laughs> also controversial opinions. Hmm. Um, do you put milk on top of your cereal or cereal on top of your milk? Milk on top of your cereal? Are you insane? That's good. Right? No, I'm not insane. No, no. We're, you're on the same page with me, right? Yeah, Absolutely. Cereal did, and then milk. How did you start asking the questions again? Um, in general, like in life? I don't know. Well, if you could lose one of your senses, which one would you lose? Taste. Yeah, it has to taste, no smell. Smell. Well. I already have like a broken nose, so I kind of already lost it. I feel like if you lose your sense of smell, you also lose your sense of taste. I feel like that is true though, right? That, that's something, right? Wait, so is that both senses in one? Dang. Did you set me up? I think I did. This was a trick question. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like, taste. And then, <laughs> all right. I guess taste. Taste. Because then I don't lose smell. And then I don't you ever have COVID? Yeah, COVID. How was, I, how was that? I lost, I lost both. Honestly, I, I was... <laughs> you already I was, been there. I was a big-ass baby. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I was pretty much on my deathbed and, you know, going through it alone, honestly. Just quarantined myself. Yeah. It was like being on that island. <laughs> Did you <laughs> looking back? You know, <laughs> you... <laughs> if we're reflecting right now, yeah. If you could, if I COVID could, COVID island. We were all on that yeah, island. If I could ate myself, I would have. Yeah, but... you would have, but you didn't. If you could lose one limb, what would it be? One limb? Like one, or like a, like a part? Yeah, I mean, I'd have to lose a hand, I guess. But I mean, over like a toe? Oh, you, oh okay. Is that a limb? Oh, it's, it's like a, a part. Yeah, okay, it's like an extremity. I'll take my, my middle toe. Middle toe. No, 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 like whatever this one, the ring finger toe. Ring toe. Yeah, because it doesn't seem like that has as much importance. Like the pinky's balancing you out, the middle toe's probably balancing me out. I have like, you know, I feel like that's an acceptable loss. Does Yakuza take the toe or the fingers? The Yakuza's not taking <laughs> me, honestly. Great uh, answer. <laughs> Hold on, I have some fan questions. Uh, what do you do with your shopping cart when you're done with it? Put it in. Oh, you put it back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I push, when I was a little kid, I pushed carts for years. I, I would 
Anybody who doesn't. Yeah, put them I'll back. Go, hey, yeah, follow someone around that. Story. It's like when aliens are invading, we all need to stick together. Put your shopping cart back. Yeah, straight up. It's the same theory. Yeah. Uh, why would? Why isn't your nickname Battle? Battle Burn Revo? Because uh, I've uh, I've never battled, and I've done a lot of. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, I think because I, I didn't earn the, the name, the, way, the nickname battle. <laughs> because the way you visually see your last name, it could be like battle. Like Royale. battle brand, like battle brand and rival, like to fight within myself. No, like our brand and battle rival. No, like because you, because you, your the pronunciation is different. Like battle royale, like in uh, Fortnite. Oh, it's Royval. No, but oh. the way you see it. Oh, okay. And I, battle I Royval, like Honestly. battle royale, battle. No. Uh, I, no, I'm just, I don't know. I just, I'm not seeing it. It's honestly. a fan question. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, how many street fights have you been in? I don't know, honestly. I've, I've done a fair amount of fighting through my life, but you know, undefeated in these streets. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it up. <laughs> any, okay. any man, woman, or child that is preferably smaller than me can get it. <laughs> That's why I fight these flyweights because they're tiny, you know? Yeah, I mean, you make them your big. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, what is this? He's like, 5'4"? I'll take that fight. <laughs> yeah, and, and... And as a six-foot-tall man myself, yeah, I'm going to take that fight every time. Metaphorically speaking. Yeah, yeah, 6'3". Six, 6'3", three. Six, six, three, if, if we're being realistic. <laughs> mm. I feel like aliens are that height. No. Dude, you can assimilate. You can do anything you I'm want to. alien up. <laughs> oh, wait, we're we talking about fighting? or? No, we're talking making about... friends. This is life. Okay, last question. What do you think of Power Slap? Oh, I was just trying to bitch smack my friend over here, over there. He was, so you like it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I just want to see the Power Slapper that loses the coin toss and is just like, actually, f*** this. <laughs> or, like, or like the Power Slapper that wins the coin toss, smacks the dude in the face, was like, no, nah, I'm good, actually. That's what <laughs> He's I, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He walks but off. As far as watching Power Slap, I've never actually watched it. Yeah. But I would love to see that. Like, someone just smack him off and like, ah, oh, you win. But <laughs> and just walked away. Wouldn't that be the dopest <laughs> shit? Yeah, I think that would be the first of its kind. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I like the way your brain works. It's cool. All right, cool. Well, I'm glad that we can relate and just if the alien if the alien invasion happens, now we got a game plan. Always. Mm. I feel like less people people are walking around unprepared, and I feel like that's detrimental. I think we need to get rid of those people because also they say that 80% of people don't have an internal monologue, but I feel like you do. Is that true? Yeah, hundred percent. I feel like I talk to myself way too much, honestly. I feel like I, I have too. I have a hundred percent of people who are eighty percent of the people's eternal model. I don't know if that <laughs> I don't know if the math's adding right there. No, that's good math. Do you think um, that the majority of people are NPCs? I feel like when you're talking about the whole alien invasion when the questions first started off, I'm like, I don't think this is real life at this point in time. <laughs> it's like I was just talking about how I was gonna swing on Pantoja and now I'm talking about how aliens <laughs> 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 on that note am I allowed to cuss in this? Uh, yeah I don't censor anything oh okay yeah. well I just censor can we, that can we edit a few things out or? <laughs> yeah I will actually as soon as I edit it I'll send it to you and you can watch it and see if you like it <laughs> and then you can cut out whatever cut you want it's <laughs> like cut everything out <laughs> cut it all out uh, Do you, have you seen this before this contraption yeah I have it's used for alien mating what happened Jacoby dude uh, yeah. that would have been a good idea I mean he's full of Guns and shit. Yeah. I think that he was gonna bring me to his fort with him last um, <laughs> on December twenty second when the world was gonna end. I mean, my boy got the date wrong for sure, but wait, it was just, it was September twenty third. Oh, September twenty third. Yeah, that was when the world was September gonna end. September twenty third when the world was gonna end. Yes, because they okay. So the theory on September twenty third is that whenever there's a movie about the world ending or an Armageddon, September twenty third is the date that they use for everything since like thirty years ago. And you know how The Simpsons has this. Uh, like as if they're time, like they they uh they're like um yeah, time yeah, travelers yeah. and stuff. Yeah, you do September. 400 episodes, you know. Uh, how many episodes are they in on that? A lot. Yeah, they're gonna get some on an accident. I feel like they get a lot of right. On accident. No, no, it's real. Okay, I think they well, time travel for sure. September 23rd <laughs> happened, and you know. Yeah, but they never had the year. They never had the year, just the date. Oh, okay. So every year people think the world is gonna end on September 23rd because every movie about the world ending September 23rd is the date that it's going to happen. So you're telling me next September 23rd could be the Wait, last day? It could day. be the last. You need a bunker, dude. You need a bunker and a game plan. That's what I'm saying. That's you need five months with of Bryce food. Mitchell heavily since uh, so September, since dude. I found out September 23rd, I'm like, yo, Bryce, what are we doing today, bro? Man, he seems like such a character. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's his real life. Yeah, me too.
that's my interview with Rod Dog Robo.